Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm John. I'm Laura. And today we're going to do, well, this is the start of our vlog, but now we're going to do a little haul that we have from our shopping. Well, first of all, we have to start the weekend off <laughs> and tell you we are having kind of a rough start to our day. I have no idea why, but we don't have power. The neighborhood's out. And we, if you have been around for a little bit, know that we dealt with this in August where we didn't have power for a week. So I'm a little, um, what's the word? Shell-shocked. Yeah, shell <laughs> I'm shot. terrified. I was like, oh, should I get I Should I? I mean, hopefully it's just going to be an hour. Hopefully it's going to be, you know, another 10 minutes. But yeah. if the power comes on during this video and you hear a celebration, <laughs> you'll know Woo! why. Because it's been off at this point for about an hour. So we were going to put a video up as soon as we got up this morning and we can't do that because of the power issue. So let's show you what we got shopping. Yeah. So we got some stuff for our, like our renovations or redecorations and stuff. We'll show you that. We also got some stuff for uh, videos. Yeah. So during this video, you may get a sneak little peek uh of maybe the color of our dining room we're not sh we're not trying to show you but if you see a, see a little sneak peek uh you know at least from this video you should be able to get the vibes of where we're going and uh i don't know are you ready let's get started yeah where do we want to start at here i don't know let's try to go maybe left to right all right so we made a lot of trips to like goodwill and salvation army um, the look that we're going for, well, actually, anytime you're going for a new look, it's kind of difficult um, to run out and, you know, just go to Walmart or just go to Target or wherever you're going, Home Goods, and find everything. So we kind of had to go all over, and we understand that everything that we're getting is probably going to have to be collected over a little bit of time. But we were pretty lucky. Yeah. So we got these baskets um, pretty cheap over at Goodwill. $2.88 for this, $0.88 cents for... And this one is stained. But that's okay because we are going to try to do a colored stain on that basket anyway. So yeah, dollar eighty eight for this basket back here, um, and then this thing we got uh, at Hobby Lobby. It's a charger, and we're going to use it under some plants. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, we went to uh, Home Goods, and we finally got. Our first little decorative or accent pillow for the couch in the living room. That's exciting. Uh-huh. So you want to show those rocks? Yeah. Yeah, this is for um, our succulents. i got to get up close so you can see the color. So I'll skip a little bit. We're going to, here's our little succulents that we got. And that is the pot they were sitting in. We're going to plant them today with those colored rocks on the top and they were about five six bucks yeah. at Lowe's yeah um, our uh, garden center our home home improvement center yeah so we went to Lowe's the home improvement center we went to Hobby Lobby we got this uh well decorative sphere mix so we got some got some balls here we have a big uh clear vase that at Christmas time we put ornaments in and we didn't know what to do with it for you know, other times of year. So there you get an idea of the colors. Some of the colors. Some of the colors, yeah. That we're going with. And let's see, in the back, uh, Walmart, we got the seed starting kit. We're a little behind, but we're well ahead of where we were last year. Yeah. And the, and the year before. Um, for our plants, we got some indoor plant food. Uh, we got some succulent plant food. Um, potting mix for the cactus or the succulents. And then back there is some um, yeah. regular potting seed starting mix. Mm -hmm. You want to just keep going along the back? Sure. We already showed that pot. And yeah, then... this thing is so cool. Oops, so cool though. Yeah. We, if you haven't seen, if you haven't been out to the garden centers yet, um, we were pleasantly surprised, even at Walmart, their, um, the new trend is footed, uh, we saw several designs, yeah. footed uh, pots, pots or like planters that. Or... Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. And then, look at this back here. It's our little ponytail palm. It's going to get planted in that blue planter. Yeah, and we got this white planter and the blue one back there, both at Walmart. And they were both 
20 ish. I think one was 20 and one was 15 or I don't know. Yeah. Something like that. Um, and then this little pot we got from Walmart too. It's so cool. I love the metal in it. And then, um, the Ivy we got from a local garden center. That little metal pot was about $5. Yep. Uh, the little succulents were a couple bucks a piece. Yeah. Some we got at the garden center. Some we got at Walmart. Um, there's a, Can't see. Oh, there we go. So, whoops, snake Hang plant left. in the back. Yep. And we got to pot that, but this pot that we got here is not big enough. So we'll have to find another plant for that and then find a new pot. Um, this green one, we just got a plastic pot from Dollar Tree for a dollar. Yeah, but my plan with that is I want to take two of them and set one like this and then one the other direction to give it a little bit of height and plant an indoor plant in it. We'll see how that works out. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, more baskets over here, but this cool design. <laughs> we got this from Hobby Lobby. Yep. Um, and then the baskets, we just thrifted these. Oh, again. we should say that flower was like 17, 18 bucks. Yeah. Um, oh, speaking of Hobby Lobby, if you are a Hobby Lobby shopper and are used to that 40% off coupon that Coupon. Coupon. <laughs> Coupon that you can use whenever you want. They discontinued that, no if you more. didn't know, at the end of February. So we searched and searched forever online and then finally asked and they said, no more. So it's either on sale or it's not. Yeah, we decided to get this anyways, even though yeah. it wasn't on sale. We're antsy to get hanging stuff up. This was on sale though. And this was in the spring shop and it kind of goes with our vibes. Now it's meant to be a charger. But I think we're going to either end up putting it under a pot or hang on the wall. We'll have, you know, we'll show you when we're all done and see yep, what we decide. Here's another charger type thing. I think we got this from Hobby Lobby as well. Yeah. Yep. So there's that. Okay, you want to go back across and show some of the, give them a sneak preview of some upcoming videos? Yeah, so this is new. We've never seen this before, but uh, Helper Mac and Cheese. So this is Hamburger Helper brand. But now they have mac and cheese, so we got, we'll try this in a video for you. Bold cheesy pizza, bold pepper jack queso, bold spicy nacho, and bold three cheese. By the way, stop moving. There's a good shot. You guys ask about our tattoos. There's a good shot of one of John's. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lady Justice, huh? All right, if you have not heard me talk about this is my favorite, favorite, favorite Oreo. John really likes it too. Yeah, it's good. Which is strange because Laura doesn't really like. Carrot I don't even cake like carrot much. cake. Carrot cake Oreos. But then we now, went to Aldi, and they have a carrot cake cream filled cookies. So we're gonna try them together. Yeah, a little comparison. Taste comparison. Also at Aldi. Also at Aldi, we found these puff pastry twists. We got cheese and sea salt. Um, we've gotten one of our Cadbury cream eggs and one of the Oreo eggs so that we can try them compared to the Cadbury cream egg we got from Canada. Yeah, we've recently received a, well, several viewer boxes, but we saved a couple of things back so that we could do some comparison. Same thing with the Smarties. Yeah. We Smarties. got rockets from Canada, so we're going to compare. Um, this is a Hoosie What's It bar. They had a contest for the new name, or a, a name for this new candy bar. It is um, like a sequel to Whatchamacallit, yeah, which came a out a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then these Reese's Clusters. Uh, creamy peanut butter, caramel, peanuts, and pecans wrapped in milk chocolate. That I mean, good. that's a whole lot of nuts, and that's for John to try. Um, we found this at the store. I didn't even know they had uh, Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar now. So, got the cherry. John Zero always sugar. drinks cherry drinks when he can, and Zero Sugar he prefers over diet. Dr. Pepper is one of his favorite drinks, and that has cherry in it. So, he's been looking for oh, it. Oh, yeah. It's probably not going to be a review. We're just showing you that it's out and... You know, yeah, right. Uh, and then we skipped over these two bags of rocks, but we got two bags of rocks from the Dollar Tree. They were a dollar each. So we can show you, we wanted teeny tiny stuff, 
because we thought that would be the right size to go with succulents, right? And then the big ones we wanted to go around some bigger plants. So if they had teeny tiny bits of rocks like this, we probably would have gotten it at the Dollar Tree because it's only a dollar versus mm -hmm. five, even if you had to get two of them or right. whatever, it'd still be cheaper. But the Dollar Tree does not have the teeny tiny, at least ours doesn't. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got this for a dollar and then black ones for a dollar. We may have to get more, but yeah. anyway. And then one of the things that I am like super happy about is when we were at Goodwill, look at this frame and painting now we're not going to keep the painting the way that it is i you know we're going to get together figure out what colors we want to do and then we're going to paint our own design on there and that's cool because on the back the um canvas can come out so we can paint the frame um and then paint the canvas and put them together and we'll have a new picture i mean you could do anything with that frame you could put a mirror in it you could i mean you could do almost anything yeah. with that but yeah. we are intending that to be a painting and then another thing i'm really happy about is at goodwill for about five dollars we got a new tripod and we definitely needed one for filming and uh actually we got two yeah so cool yeah we were excited about that we weren't even looking for that. Obviously, we we're just looking for stuff around the house, but nice uh, little bonus. And, and then, then there's this. For our living room, we've got, I don't know why there's like plastic there. Oh, it's just plastic. It's not tape. So it's like original packaging or whatever. But yeah, we got this. We're going to use it as a plant stand. I think it's meant to just be a little stool, but for less than $3, we thought that'd be a perfect little plant stand. Yeah. So... That's our little haul. What else are we doing this weekend? We have, uh, I believe, another errand or two. We're definitely going to plant these seeds and these plants. And, yeah, we're going to um, start outside. We're going to show you what it looks like right now and then do a little cleanup. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. So we need to do a little bit of cleanup and we want to start setting it up. But we're going to show you the before first. All right, so here's what our yard looks like after all this snow has melted away. Of course, we have leaves piled up in about yeah, we got some cleanup to do. Every corner, every little nook and cranny. There's our shed, and then what we do for the winter is just kind of pile up all of our furniture over there. We're gonna start to set that up today. Maybe get out a few decorations. I'm not sure. It's pretty windy. I don't know if you can tell. It sure is windy. Let's walk out and show them the other direction. We have a school that we back up to. If you haven't seen one of these videos before where we're outside, so there it is. And we have this nice green space behind. And here is our little garden area, soon yeah. to be cute and full of life, hopefully. Yeah, part of our garden area. And hopefully yeah. our painting on the other side of these pallets uh, stayed good over the winter, or we might have to redo it. That's right. And then here's the back. So those are raised planters. And then, you know, that all gets full of plants here. So anyway, we'll show you what we do. When we get at it, I guess. Are we ready to do it now? <laughs> Not yet, but soon. <laughs>
so here's a room we hardly ever record in. This is our family room. And the next job for the day is, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. Maybe you can. This rug has developed this little wrinkle, <laughs> this little Bubble. bump in the carpet. And we've had it for, I don't know, two or three years. We love this rug. Um, but what we're gonna do is flip it around and use this as an opportunity for some spring cleaning. We're gonna clean underneath it and we're gonna turn it around so that the part with the tripping hazard <laughs> is under the couch or at least back there. So that's our next project. There's, oh, by the way, story time. <laughs> yeah. There's our new couch, one of our new couches that we ordered. Uh, when did we order it? It was like last August or July. <laughs> um, and they said like six to eight weeks, but of course, because everything going on, it took longer and we did not get it until like mid January. Right. And we had it, I don't know, maybe about a week, a couple weeks, and then it broke. Yeah. Those uh, cushions or whatever you want to back call it. Is, yeah, in the back, put they go in individually and on John's side, which is all the way to the right there, it snapped. And it just is wood. It's not welded or anything. It's just it's wood, cheap wood that too. holds it on. So uh, we called and after, I mean, it was more than this. So after waiting for getting our couch, then we threw out our old couch and then they had the delivery date wrong. Right. So we had to be without a couch for a while. That was another thing. So anyway, the couch broke when we first got it within the first week. They said, bring in the piece. So we did without a piece of the couch then. And there's normally a recliner in here, but it's out because we're cleaning. But anyways, they said, bring in the piece. We took in the piece. They said it was fixed. We went and picked it up, took it home, broke immediately. Broke immediately. Like I put the backrest back on and just kind of sat down and leaned back. Hardly any pressure like, pressure on it at all. And it just broke again. So he called and now we're getting a better couch. Which is great. But they said four to six weeks when we ordered it. And guess what? It's been four to six weeks. And when I called this week, they said four to six weeks. Ugh. So this is the problem with all of our remodeling, redecorating. It's been a pain. Have you guys ordered anything during this time? If so, I feel for you. I know that um, building materials and like getting fencing and that kind of stuff done has been taking a while too. But anyway, that is the saga that is this couch. I cannot wait till it goes away. And right. we have a new one that yeah. hopefully, knock on wood, there's no issues with. But, all right, ready to flip this rug around? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, guys. Oh, boy. First grilling on the barbecue. We've got some ribeye steaks. I can hear them sizzle. I can smell them. They smell delicious. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. My mouth is watering.